Hey friends, this is Dolony TV, and of course now obviously the Oilers have kind of gotten things underway for their California road trip. We have our first bit of news out of the trip, and we'll discuss all the injuries up front for the Oilers in a matter of moments, but friends as well. Right now, you got to remember that the Bakersfield Condors are in a world of hurt with injuries as well. So when we talk about things here, keep that in mind as we evolve along what could happen here for the Edmonton Oilers in a, well, span of a week over the California road trip. If you are new to the channel, friends, I will encourage you right now as well to consider hitting that subscribe button. That would be greatly appreciated. Closing in on 15,000, now just uh, 767 away. So here we go, image number one, friends, injuries up front for the Oilers. These are the lines projected for the San Jose game tomorrow. And you see here right away the pinned comment from myself. Holloway and Gagne will not pay, play on this road trip, so keep that in mind. That is why you see the lineup. You see Gagne was banged up there a couple uh, days back. And obviously two Holloways mending back and should be ready for the second, if not uh, the weekend after the second. So whatever that would be, um, whatever that might be. Uh, but you kind of get where we're going here as well. Gagne will be ready around the second as well. So for right now, the Oilers go RNH, McDavid, Hyman, McLeod, Drysdale, Fogel, Kane, Ryan, Yanmark. That's going to be a heavy, hard work in line, let me tell you. Ernie, Hamlin, and Brown. That could be a fun little line to watch. Obviously, Connor Brown on the fourth line kind of gives you headaches, but again, don't worry about it. As long as he produces good, solid minutes, five on five, that's all that matters. And uh, Nurse, Cece, Ekholm, Bouchard, Kulak, Deharnay, Gleason on the defense as the seventh defenseman. Skinner and Pickard in net for the Oilers. So Skinner will get the start against San Jose. And what I do need to tell you right now is I floated the idea, I think most of us have floated the idea of potentially calling up Ollie Rodrigue against, well, now it would be the best case scenario, is Anaheim. It'll have to wait and see how things line up in the net down there in Bakersfield. Obviously, with the injuries up front, Gagne being out for the entire road trip, that does complicate things here for the Oilers if they want to make a recall like Ollie Rodrigue. And again, you're not likely to send down Picard just for one game because you're in California. So this is kind of almost dispelling that whole idea I had earlier today. So almost, oh well, never mind. But it was something fun to talk about because Ollie Rodrigue has earned it so far this season. Now what you could see this uh, trip because of the situation with Connor Brown and Holloway and Gagne both being able to line up due to injury is the fact of the Oilers going back to the 11-7. Chris Knobloch did not mention it at all in his pregame presser today, but I would not be shocked to see at least either tomorrow against San Jose or against LA or Anaheim, one of the three games. I'm not going to pick one, but one of the three that the Oilers give Ben Gleason an opportunity to come up and play a game in the lineup. He's been sitting in the press box doing a great job for us, obviously saving us some cap space against Philip Broberg, but... Of course, today as well, if you caught on uh, social media, Ryan Holt had some posts up about how well Broberg has played in Bakersfield. And it would almost curiously pique my interest to see if the Oilers might move up Philip Broberg back to the NHL following this California road trip. Again, I've heard nothing on that front. It's just something that possibly could play out here for the Oilers, given they also have a day break on New Year's Day. But as it sits, this is what you're looking for. And I think, too, if the Oilers are to get Gleason a game, that's going to indicate he's going back to the minors. If he doesn't get a game during this stretch, I assume status quo, he stays up with the big club, keeps riding the pine in the press box, and continues to enjoy an NHL paycheck, basically to allow us to continue to develop Philip Broberg, which is A-OK. -okay. And at worst, you have him in case injury strikes the defense or you really need somebody up front Right? For some reason, say Brown and Ernie both go down or somebody in that bottom six goes down and uh, you're just hurting up front, instead of making an emergency recall, you could at the end of the day play Ben Gleason as a forward in any situation that arises. So right now, friends, the other side too, I've mentioned Bakersfield right off the hop simply because I wanted to get to it here late in the video but pique your interest about it early is you see this lineup we're talking about now possibly playing Ben Gleason as a forward in case of worst case scenario, uh, playing him as an 11-7 defenseman, um, scratching Connor Brown, all those kind of things. Bakersfield is in California right now. They will be playing there over the stretch of the next little bit. They're playing tonight 
in uh, Bakersfield as well, actually. I think they were getting underway at 7.30, if I'm not mistaken. But what you need to know about that is their cupboards are bare right now down there in the farm system. I don't know if you've uh, caught too, too much of the Bakersfield Condors season so far, but it is uh, been a up and down year because of injuries, because of goaltending, mostly, right? You can probably figure out where that comes from now that Jack Campbell's been down there a while. Unfortunately, still hasn't worked out. Tulio, McKaig, Borgo, Lavoie, Peterson, Griffith, Kajula, Malone, Wright, Savoy, Gruby, and uh, Cam Cambites is your uh, top 12 forwards right now for Bakersfield. Your defense is Broberg, Kemp, Peters, Warner, Korokin, or Corcoran, and uh, Bernard. I should know these names better than I do right now, but I, I haven't had to pronounce them most of this season because we've been too worried about the Edmonton Oilers, to be honest with you. But when you talk about the Oilers have one, two, three, four, five, six, maybe seven in Cam Wright prospects on the farm team this year up front that uh, could possibly make an impact. Actually, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six is the count. Um, and guys that are still a far ways away from making an impact. There's really no one forward-wise other than potentially Raphael Lavoie you would call up. But again, you're leaving the coverage really bare down there in Bakersfield, and they are trying to develop talent, not just kind of mediocrely struggle by like uh, they have been accused of and kind of have been due to injuries here over the course of this season. So right now, hopefully for the Oilers, they can find a way to survive this road trip without any more injuries, get to the second, get both Holloway and Gagne back, and then we worry about the big club doing well. We can possibly flip Gleason and Broberg here in the next week or month, whatever it takes, and then allow uh, Bakersfield to get a little bit more healthy as well because, my goodness, friends, I've kind of chatted up uh, down south today. And uh, biggest thing, too, is they're asking for roster consistency down there. So you got to think, if the Oilers are committed to developing some talent down there to this year, stop with the injuries, keep the kind of pieces you need down there when you need them, and uh, just don't, don't do anything too inconsistent. So I guess maybe what I'm saying is we don't even bother calling up Rodrigue or anybody else from Bakersfield while we're in California. It was a nice little idea over Christmas, but I don't think it lines up at all. So friends, I'm Tyson, this is Stall on TV. Thank you so much for being aboard this afternoon. Of course, let me know your thoughts. If there is anyone that you would like to see off of the Condors up on the Oilers during this California road trip, again, I think the only answer is Olivier Rodrigue, but as it currently sits, that's a likely shot only now against Anaheim. And in terms of the other guys, you look at this lineup um, and how it's constructed right now. That second line is dynamite. Are you moving down Yanmark to the fourth line to maybe allow Lavoie to play a game against uh, Anaheim? Maybe, and that could be a play. But other than that, um, the only real move I could see Bakersfield being affiliated in is either a Philip Broberg and Ben Gleason switch after the weekend or else uh, just allowing Ben Gleason to play a game up here at the NHL level after riding the press box for as long as he has. Friends, Tyson, Dolan TV, up on out here. Let me know your thoughts. I'll catch you in the next one.